नमस्ते दर्शकबिन एचके दर्पण डट कम को आज को श्रृंखला में यहाँ लगत करद आज हमी लेजिस्लेटिव काउंसिल को हंगकंग को लेजिस्लेटिव काउंसिल में आया छो यहाँ को विधान परिषद जहाँ विभिन्न पार्टी संग संबद्ध जनप्रतिनिधि सत्तरी जान जनप्रतिनिधि प्रतिनिधित्व कर आज हमी लुंग कोक होंग जिस हंगकंग में लंग हेयर को नाम ने परिचित वहाँ वहाँ को कार्यालय में आज हमी यह श्रृंखला को लगी आया छहस हम आज हमी सदैं लमो अंतरंग कुछ सदैं यहाँ यो सो इंजोय करूने भाई आशा लन्यवाद स्वागत करूँ वहाँ लियर भ्यूअर्स वी आर हियर टुडे विथ लुंग कोक होंग also referred to as long here in hong kong we are at, at the legislative council today and we'll be having a great talk with him hope you'll enjoy the show let's invite him to the show welcome to the show sir yeah you're welcome as well yes um okay now in the beginning uh, let's talk about the weather oh the weather is quite cold now isn't it yeah it's cold yesterday and today yes well i i mean <laughs> for me um Well, well, the weather is cold, and there's some kind of, uh, um, you know what I mean, ice. Yes, yes. It's yes. Uh, quite, um, quite strange to the Hong mm-hmm. Kong people. Yes, yes. And so there are a lot of people mm-hmm. who went to the peak mm-hmm. and tried to uh, enjoy it. But uh, there's a problem for the poor people in yes. Hong Kong yes, yes. at this moment since. Yes. Uh, Hong Kong uh, is not uh, is not in the cold area. So yes, I yes. mean, for those people who haven't got enough uh, yes. heating, yes. maybe it's a problem for them. Yes. So I think the government probably need to do more. Yes. Okay. Now let's go into the topic. Uh, we will divide this uh, interview into two uh, two groups. Like the first, we'll be talking about the Nepalese community in Hong Kong and also the EM, the ethnic minorities. Mm-hmm. And the second part will be uh, we'll focus on your fight for democracy yeah. and 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 your movement as well. Yeah. And now let's focus on the Nepalese community here in Hong Kong. Sir, how do you uh, how do you remember the Nepalese community in Hong Kong? Well, since my mother worked for the uh, British Army. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean the British soldiers. Yes. Uh, about I mean it's about four decades ago. Uh-huh. So eventually I did meet some of your compatriots. Yes. yes. Yeah. So uh, at that at that time, uh, it's about I think it's a few hundreds uh, Nepalese people uh-huh. uh, were working uh-huh. in the uh, British army yeah, in Hong yeah. Kong. Yes. So I mean, in the end of the day. Mm-hmm. uh they marry here mm-hmm. and their children yes. will become the permanent uh resident of hong kong so there there is a Nep- uh, nepalese mm-hmm. community mm-hmm. in hong kong well i met your uh, some of your compatriots uh-huh. well uh, last last week uh-huh. i was in yamate mm-hmm. And I went to um, an Indian uh-huh. restaurant, which yes. was uh, ran by a Nep- Nepalese. Aha, uh-huh, is it? It's a very good restaurant. Mm-hmm. So, like your first meeting with the Nepalese community was quite long back, actually, yeah. is it? Yes. Yes. Uh, since <coughs> I have been through your 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 life, the, your well, I, well, I, I did uh, took part in the demonstration uh-huh. uh, when. The, um, Monarchy of uh, Nepal, yes, yes, uh, which uh, withdraw their yes, withdraw yes. their rules. Yes, yes. And I was uh, uh, on the street and yes. celebrate with your compatriots, ah, your, your, your your people. Mm-hmm. It was there. Aha, aha, uh-huh, uh-huh, <laughs> is it? Yes, <laughs> <Yeah>. yes, <coughs> yes. And uh, how well are you connected with the Nepalese community here in Hong Kong now? Since uh, you are elected from uh, uh, the the uh, from the uh, You are elected from a different place where uh, there are l- my constituencies. L- less, yes. uh, my constituency, uh, there are Nepalese people yes. live in the in my constituency, yes. but mainly is in the uh, 
uh, around the uh, northeast part of yes. New Territories. Yes, yes. So, but I met I met I met your compatriot from yes. time to time in, uh, on the streets. You uh -huh. know. Uh, well, I remember when I was in Kathmandu. Uh -huh. I was on my way to uh, take uh, take the flight, yes, and yes. when I walk walk towards the airport, uh -huh. and there was a queue yes. that um, the Nepalese uh, were waiting uh -huh. uh, for the entry of uh -huh. the airport, and mm. they say hello to me, and I, I, I did, I did, I did deliver a, a few of my name cards. Mm -hmm. So uh, basically, uh, they know you well, isn't it? Well, I, I think um, a lot of them can recognize uh, recognize my face. Yeah. Who doesn't Who doesn't know long here in Hong Kong, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> 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 so I mean, um, uh, I mean, the problem of uh, Nepalese uh -huh. uh, is, uh, in general, is a problem of the Asian people yes, in Hong yes. Kong, yes. Uh, uh, Pakistan, yes. uh, Nepalese. Yes. Uh, Indian people, yes. Sri Lankan. Yes. Uh, I mean, there is no policy yes. uh, to take care of their benefits. For uh -huh. example, if uh, they were born in Hong Kong uh -huh. and you uh, automatically they uh -huh. would become the permanent resident yes. in Hong Kong uh, uh -huh. of Hong Kong. Yes. But I don't think Hong Kong government had done enough for them. For example, they are not uh, in. Uh, proper training, mm -hmm. proper education for yes. them, because uh, accordingly to the policy uh -huh. of Hong Kong government, yes. uh, those civil servants mm -hmm. uh, should um, should be uh, fluently okay. in Cantonese. Yes, fluent uh, in Cantonese. Yeah, yes. uh, Mandarin. But yes. how come uh, those uh, uh, Asian people? Yeah. Uh, can be qualified, yes. if, but because there's yes, no yes. proper education yes. for them, and even though there's a proper education, yes. it's very, very difficult for them. Yes, uh, since you talked about uh, the the EM community, the ethnic minority community, and also the Nepalese not able to go into uh, civil service jobs in Hong Kong, so what do you feel? What are the other problems uh, related with the the Nepalese community and the EM communities in Hong Kong? What other problems do you feel they have? First of all, I think I think the there is no uh, policy to deal with their uh, difficulties. Uh -huh. For example, no, if there there would be a a, a, a task mm -hmm. for the a government to give them a proper mm -hmm. training mm -hmm. in the first place yes. about uh, to 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 solve the linguistic uh -huh. problem. Yes. Well, if they are not capable to uh, to pick up uh, the Cantonese, uh -huh. so there should be a policy uh -huh. to uh, to deal with that. Mm -hmm. Because since they are the minority, so mm -hmm. you need a, a special policy yes. in order to yes. uh, benefit them. Yes. But for example, you know, it's just in a uh, public service. Uh -huh. If 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 you know there there is a problem that yes. uh, a lot of uh, Asian people, Nepalese, uh -huh. Indian, Pakistan, uh -huh. if they try to go to um, any uh, department or yes. any uh, bureau of uh -huh. of the Hong Kong government, mm -hmm. they they find it's difficult to communicate. Yes, so yes. I think there should be a proportion okay. of the civil servants should be. Uh, uh, Asian, yes. and then the, the Asian people can be helpful to the Asian people. Yes, yes. So in the first place, secondly, I think there should be some kind of um, policy, yes. who, uh, who, are, who who should uh, making uh -huh. those people uh, uh, willing to okay. employ okay. the Asian people yes, to yes. get the benefit yes. for, for example. Uh, the, deduc the deduction of taxation, yes, yeah. something like that, and also uh, the education mm -hmm. uh, of Hong Kong yeah. uh, should put more uh, effort and um, uh, uh, source uh -huh. in order to uh, let uh, the Asian people have a proper uh, education. Yes, yes, yes. 
And uh, actually, uh, regarding the representation uh, in uh, the district council seats or in the legislative council seats, since uh, ethnic minority uh, minorities are about six to seven percent in Hong Kong, don't you think that it would be uh, appropriate uh, for one at least? among the 70 legislative councillors in Hong Kong would be from an ethnic minority background so that they could raise their voice on their behalf, that someone who would uh, uh, represent well, it's a, it's a It's a matter of uh, the electoral system in yes. Hong Kong. So, yes. well, we, we, we uh, in, in uh, there are about uh, 70 uh, legislators. Yes, yes. And, Forty yes. percent of the legislature uh, were elected, yes. and uh, for the uh, yes. functional constituencies. Yes. Yes. So, yes. if you we are thinking about uh, the uh, representation yes. propor proportion, pro the proportion of the representations yes. Yes. of the uh, functional constituencies. Yes. I mean, it's a, there's a point. Yes, a point. Yeah, actually, since. Uh, about 40% of the representative come from the functional constituency, like maybe uh, like from the health sector, like from the business sector, and other things as well. Yeah. There are a lot of uh, sectors. Like there could be one sector, like an ethnic minority sector, who could uh, represent uh, in the legislative council. Uh, maybe since 7%, about 7% of the people here are ethnic minority. That would be like someone who would uh, represent, would uh, raise the voice for the. Or, or, or I think there should be a um, uh, human rights commission. Yes, yes. Uh, because um, we are we are subject to the um, uh, uh, human rights uh, human rights uh, convened yes, yes, yes. Uh, of the yes. UN. You yes, know, yes. so there should be a commission in yes. order to to overlook whether yes. uh, the implementation of the convene is okay or yes, not. Yes, so yes. the commission. Uh, should be independent, and he is uh, subject to the uh, chief executive of yes. uh, Hong Kong government, and then it might be helpful. Yes, yes, yes. And also uh, regarding uh, there are other problems as well. Yes, uh, and now let's talk about the LSD party and your party, the League of Social Democrats, and uh, and the ethnic minority community yeah. and the Nepalese as well. How is your party connected with the ethnic minority community and also the Nepalese community? How is your party, the League of Social Democrats, uh, connected with the Since, EMs? since uh, the League of Social Democrats uh, is not a, a, a big party, so yes. Uh, we don't have uh, enough uh, resources yes. in order to build up the linkage to uh -huh. the ethnic minority, mm -hmm. but we do try very hard because yes. uh, I think it's uh, a, res uh, a, a responsibility for us yes, yes. Uh, to support yes. uh, the ethnic minority mm -hmm. because they are part they are part of Hong Kong and yes. they make the contribution. Yes. Thank you, uh, th thank you for your words. Sir. And now let's uh, let's talk about uh, the future of your party. Uh, are you planning uh, more to get involved with the ethnic minority? All with, sir? Um, I I can't say much about that because uh, we we want to be, but uh, you know, um, there the problem is that uh, the the leader of those uh, ethnic minority. Yes. Uh, I think politically they need to deal with a problem since our government uh, is not elected. Yes, yes. Uh, it's not directed elected. So yes. if uh, any um, any uh, ethnic minority mm -hmm. who show their uh, uh, friendly gesture mm -hmm. to the opposition, quote yeah. unquote, mm -hmm. and then there may there may be consequence. But yes. in in a, in a certain extent, I think uh, things should be changed. Yes. In a place like Hong Kong, where uh, we, we still believe there is democracy, um, I, I don't think there would be much problem with the ethnic minority co uh, connecting with different other parties as well. Don't you think so? I don't know, but uh, lately, I think uh, the attitude of the Hong Kong government actually mm. is not 
is not right uh -huh. because they they think they in in their mindset uh, the legislature in Hong Kong should be cooperate with the uh, executive uh, 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 part uh, uh, a body of uh -huh. the government, which is wrong in a certain extent. So it is it seems that they are using their power and their <coughs> and their authority uh, to. To, to, is is a, uh, to uh, as a strategy. Uh -huh. If you're friendly to the government, yes. you will benefit. Yes. If you're not friendly to the government, uh -huh. you will not be ben uh, benefit. And also, uh, talking about uh, the nationality, uh -huh. the, the, is that it's a big problem here. Yes. Is that if the Asian people uh -huh. they were born, if the Asian people were uh -huh. born in Hong Kong, uh -huh. and then they'll become the uh, permanent res resident. Uh -huh. But accordingly to the uh, uh, um, to the uh, nation nationality uh -huh. uh, ordinance of uh, PRC, mm -hmm. they 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 need to make a choice whether they would like to be uh, a citizen, a passport holder of their own country, or mm -hmm. they need to give up their nationality mm -hmm. in order to become. The passport holder of the Hong Kong uh, government, so mm -hmm. it's a big problem for them because the the national identity, mm -hmm. you know, you you allowed to to stay here permanently, yes. but you don't have uh, nationality, yes. so it's a problem yes, yeah. for them. Uh. But you know, for a lot of people who mm -hmm. are the passport holder mm -hmm. of uh, Canada mm -hmm. or uh, you. Uh, America mm -hmm. or even Australia, mm -hmm. there's no problem. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a, but this kind of policy, I mean, it's a, a certain, it's a great area. Yeah. If you don't report to the mm -hmm. gov uh, Hong Kong government, you can be still hold your mm -hmm. uh, passport mm -hmm. yes. as a Canadian. Yes. Come on, but for the Asian people, I I think it's a it's a little bit unfair to yes. them. Okay, now um, since you have told, you have always uh, you have told that you consider the EEM community in Hong Kong, the Nepalese community in Hong Kong, as a part of Hong Kong. In the future, will you again raise your voice for the betterment of this community in the Legislative Council? Yeah, I, I mean, in a long term running, if if there is no policy mm -hmm. uh, to deal with this kind of problem, mm -hmm. which had. Uh, been exists more more than one decade. Mm -hmm. I think it will be a time bomb because yeah. the, uh, the 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 community, the yes. the ethnic minority, yes. will become bigger and bigger. Yeah, it's growing. It's growing. It's growing. Day by day. So, yes, yes. so if they cannot uh, have a proper uh, proper Policy? facilitations, yes. yes, yes, and then it will have a problem because yes. because they need to be. They need to be uh, facilitated, mm -hmm. you know, fairly, okay. yes. fairly. Yes. Now, uh, let's talk about uh, democracy. Uh, since you have been involved with this movement since a long time, uh, do you remember the, the first time that you, that, 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 that clicked, democracy clicked in your mind? Can you remember the first time? Oh, it was a long time ago. Uh -huh. I think it's about more than four decades ago. Uh -huh, uh, so I, I, I was a teenager, yes. uh, very, very, very early uh -huh. teenager. I was in my very early teenage. Mm -hmm. And at that time, I was uh, influenced. I was, uh, I got influence from the Maoists uh -huh. in, 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 in Hong Kong. Uh -huh. So the Maoists in Hong Kong actually has got, has got the influence from China, uh -huh. I think. So, and then I, I joined the student movement, which yes. is a, a, an underground one. Yes. And then I lost hope on Maoism, and ah. then I, and then I, uh, turned to be, turned myself to be a socialist, and ah. then uh, Trotsky. I and since then yes. I, and then it's my. Yes. Experience. Yes, you have been. So I mean, talking about democracy, yes. democracy. What you know, yes. you know, in in your uh, 
in your country, yes. the Maoists, yes. uh, well, took power once. Yes. And I think it's a matter for uh, for us to deal with that yes. uh, democracy as a uh, constitution, as a uh, as a um, system, yes. a parliamentary uh -huh. uh, system, yes. whether it's uh, good enough to solve the yes. uh, uh, the social yes. uh, in equality or mm -hmm. not. Mm -hmm. I think it also happened mm -hmm. in Nepal. Yes, okay, yes. so the monarchy uh, uh, was was dismissed. Yes, yes. And now the Japanese can cast their votes, but yes. uh, I mean, apart from uh, Kamandu, mm -hmm. and I don't, I don't, I don't think uh, yes. the problem of Nep Nepal has yes. been solved. Yes. Okay, since you have been well aware of Nepal, the conditions in Nepal as well, uh, thank you. And now let's talk about uh, democracy. What is democracy for you? I mean, democracy is that uh, the people on the street, I mean, the, the, peop uh, the people uh, who have uh, made the contribution uh -huh. of the um, wealth and prosperity uh -huh. should, should enjoy their right, yes. not, not just um, by ca by casting their votes yes. uh, uh, for uh, four years uh, at, uh, once, mm -hmm. it is uh, I think the uh, participation or, or, uh, on all level yes, yes. Uh, is very very important. Yes. You know, so I mean, you know, who is going to uh, push and yes. or to uh, monitor the mm. parliament itself. Yes. So I think democracy, in a certain extent, should be um, should be always, always uh, mm. improve and uh, enlarge. Yes. Uh, will you will long here in any part of his life compromise with the values of true democracy? Well, I mean. We make compromise all the time, ah. but uh, with, with, only, with the, only with the in values a, of true democracy. I mean, will you well, compromise? I, I, I don't. I don't even have a chance to compromise ah, <laughs> because uh, uh, in Hong Kong uh, there is no. Uh, there, I, 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 I don't need to face a yes. very difficult situation yes. or uh, to face a, a, um, a situation mm -hmm. uh, which is mean, which means. Dead and alive. I I don't have have to make a, 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 a awkward choice like yes. that. Uh, so I think, in my own opinion, uh -huh. in in, a, in 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 a place like Hong Kong, uh -huh. we need to build up a united front yes. first in order to confront uh, yes. the uh, domination of the Chinese Communist Party. Yes. And it's the first thing. So if I need to compromise a little bit to. Mm -hmm. Uh, build up a uh, united front, I don't mind. Given the choice uh, to exchange democracy with something, given the choice, it's a hypothetical question, yeah. given a choice to exchange democracy with something, what would you exchange democracy with? Democracy? Yes. Democracy for democracy. You'll exchange better, democracy only. The betterment of democracy. Okay. Uh, you'd exchange <laughs> democracy Instead with... Instead of democracy. Yes. You'd exchange it with a better democracy, is Yeah, it? betterment. The betterment. Yeah. I mean, I mean, democracy means betterment. Mm. Yes, you know, yes. I mean, uh, why we need democracy? Yes. Because we need uh, to build up uh, 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 a system which yes. uh, should be uh, uh, should should let all the people yes. in this society mm -hmm. to obtain an equal right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So not just in the uh, political level, mm -hmm. just uh, when, when you become a, a voter. Mm -hmm. Uh, you you, and then you can cast a vote to choose mm -hmm. uh, your representation uh, uh, representation yes, in the yes. in the parliament. It doesn't yes. mean that you have already uh, being your master. I think the pro the problem is that there should be different level of yes. democracy. Yes. For example, um, talking about employment yes. and livelihood, yes. I think it's better for. The people uh -huh. uh, of different tier mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to 
make use of the right in order to uh, um, in order to decide yes, yeah. uh, what to do, what mm -hmm. not to do. Mm -hmm. So, so that's my. I mean, uh, particip participation, participative mm -hmm. uh, uh, democracy is mm -hmm. more important. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, since uh, you have uh, back, you have been talking about. Mm, alliance with different uh, democratic groups, pan-democrat camp. But then, uh, don't you think uh, the pan-democrat in itself, they are very polarized among themselves? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean... They are divided among themselves as well, the pan-democrat I think, I think, I think, well, it is not, uh, it is not uh, unacceptable. Mm -hmm. And also, I mean, in a certain extent, uh, yes. Life moves on, yes, yes. and different uh, political uh, ideas yes, yes. need to face a challenge. So, yes. I mean, democracy means that uh, you, you, you need to respect uh, yes. uh, uh, the your opposition. Uh, so that means, I mean, in uh, if mm -hmm. a party doesn't allow mm -hmm. uh, its member to form a faction mm -hmm. or a tendency mm -hmm. inside the party. Mm -hmm. That means uh, the states will not allow allow people to form a political party. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, polarized is, you know, uh, I know that uh, the Chinese Communist Party try very hard mm -hmm. to polarize the uh, pandemic. Mm -hmm. but I mean, if it's based on different uh, uh, political perspective mm -hmm. I think is healthy yes. you know what I mean if you uh, you got different idea and then uh, you got different uh, different uh, po political perspective of yes. course uh, you know the division mm -hmm. will be emerge mm -hmm. Okay, now let's talk about Che Guevara and you. Um, how did you, you, you are seen uh, with Che Guevara t-shirt, now, uh, now even you are wearing the t-shirt. How did you develop your fascination for Ernesto Guevara de la Serna? He's called, referred to as Che Guevara. How did you uh, I mean, develop I your mean, fascination for him? I mean, uh, Che Guevara yes. uh, was, a, was a big hit uh, yes. in around 1997, which yes. is the 30, anniversary yes. of his death. Yes. Yes. But uh, times move on. Uh, now it's almost two decades yes. after yes. Uh, the, uh, uh, the, 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 the 30 yes. anniversary. Yes. About so, uh, so <laughs> what is the result of that? I think the emerge of the Islamic uh, militancy yes. actually is the, the fate the failure of the uh, the failure of the um, uh, anti uh, America uh -huh. imperialism. Uh -huh, yes. So the left wing they lost their position mm -hmm. as a leader. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean the left. Mm -hmm. uh, so the Islamic. Uh, as a, an idea mm -hmm. emerged. So, so you think about that, there are about um, 500 million people, mm -hmm. Islamic mm -hmm. uh, people mm -hmm. uh, around the world. Mm -hmm. So Che Guevara as, a, as, a, as a, an idol is a fighter for democracy and, and for the, uh, social justice. Yeah around the world, especially uh, in an underdeveloped yes. uh, country. Yes. So that's it. But I think since I haven't seen any uh, 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 any trial like mm -hmm. of how to uh, resolving mm -hmm. the problems uh, after the downfall of the uh, communism, mm -hmm. The Russian com communism. Mm -hmm. So, I think there is uh, the the idea of Che Guevara mm -hmm. of uh, on uh, uh, global resistance mm -hmm. on the capitalism, mm -hmm. uh, especially yes. was led, to, mm -hmm. which was led by the U.S. imperialism, mm -hmm. will mm -hmm. 
have a uh, be emergency. Mm -hmm. I think I think in the end of the day, but whether whether it will happen sooner or not, I don't know. And do you support the armed struggle that was uh, that, that was put forward by Che Guevara? Do you support the armed struggle? If there's no solution, of course, armed arm struggle is the only solution. Then, if it, if there is a chance mm -hmm. by um, um, by innovate uh, the society mm -hmm. by political reform, of course, we don't we don't uh, want any bloodshed. Mm -hmm. But if there is, there was, there is, there's none. Mm -hmm. So arm struggle maybe. Or or or, or um, uh, massive uh, strike or massive resistance movement. That should be an option. Okay, uh, we are uh, about to end the program. Like but maybe the problem is that uh, just like uh, what happened to mm -hmm. to your homeland is mm -hmm. that uh, the arms struggle mm -hmm. is only a mean. Mm -hmm. It's not a solution. But once you, the arms struggle uh, claim the victory. So what's next? Uh, that's the mo most important thing. Is the arms struggle uh, might be, might be uh, uh, helpful or, yes. or successful, but arms struggle is not the, the aim. Yes. Okay. Uh, we we have about five minutes more time. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk about um, let's talk about your life. Uh, since I was going through your life, uh, oh. uh, now 59 years old, aren't you? I'm 59 years yes, old. Yes. Uh, uh, born, born so long ago, and uh, like I was you, born in Hong Kong. You, you have, uh, yeah, you were born in Hong Kong. Work as a construction in the construction industry from 1981 to 86, isn't it? Uh, uh, no, uh, I think I work in the construction. It's about from the late 70s to yes. the early 80s, yes. and then I become. Uh, a full time full time worker for for a, a, a political group called uh, uh, RML Revolution Marxist League, yes, yes. and then in nineteen eighty six, and then I become a bus a bus cleaner, yes, yes. light shift bus yes. cleaner. Yes. Yes, in, in in the in the Kowloon motor bus, uh, yeah, like yeah, you, yeah. You, KMB, KMB, and also you you fought for the legislative council election in two thousand and lost. And then I lost. Uh, yes, and then uh, then you also fought uh, for yeah. the district council election in two thousand three. You lost yes, again, yeah, yeah. and you won the two thousand four legislative council election again. Yeah, yeah you yeah, won. Yeah, yeah. And again in two thousand two, well, you won the legislative council election as well. Yes. Yeah, it it it, it is by. Third terms. Now. Yes. Yes. You, your third term now. Yes. And then so uh, how maybe tomorrow, uh, next uh, this year yes. in the summer, yeah. uh, if I if I uh, take part in yes. the election, yes. it may be my fourth term. Yes. So life is life is like your life seems like very ups with lot of ups and downs. How do you define your life? How do you define your life? Oh, actually, I'm, I think I'm, I'm very lucky though. Uh -huh. um, as I said before, I I I I I didn't I I didn't I and I do not uh -huh. uh, need to make a uh -huh. choice uh -huh. uh, of dead and alive. Yes. So the struggle in Hong Kong actually is a very uh, it, no, it's a quite quite a soft one, yes. you know, and but eventually uh, the threats from the Northward, that uh -huh. means uh, the the Chinese Comra yes. Communist Party uh -huh. will will be will increase. Mm -hmm. You know, we you know uh, the I think the hard time will come. Well, I mean, it's always a paradox as an opposition as a revolutionary. Uh -huh. If you don't feel any threat, that means you're useless. as me, just like me. If you feel your life have uh, 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 is threatened, that means. Mm -hmm. Is on the edge mm -hmm. whether you you will become a threat of your uh, opponent or, or your your enemy, yes. and then they will try to threaten your life. So, I mean, for me, mm -hmm. uh, it's not a choice. Um, it's not a choice yes. made by myself, uh -huh. but I need to uh, emphasize uh, since the umbrella. Movement emerged in the um, in the autumn of yes. uh, twenty and 
14, mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I think the Hong Kong people need to think about that. Yes, uh, yes. You need to have a review yes. in order to provide a, a new perspective. Yes. At that time, we are not ready. Yes. So now, we need to be ready next yes. time. Something uh, a little negative about your thing, uh, your, uh, your, 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 you yourself. Actually, uh, since I was going through uh, through the to the vote shares of the League of Social Democrats, uh, it seems like at times like the vote share has been a little dwindling, uh, going a little down. The vote yeah. shares that you are getting, yeah. uh, do you th do you feel at any time the uh, you are also at times referred to as a radical democrat? Uh, do you feel like uh, a lit a little radical thing like maybe and is a little I think I think, I think, I think we need to I, we need to surprise it's just like what I said we need to be ready for for um, for 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 building up a leadership uh, yes. in order to to lead us out of the uh, out of the what should I say uh, out of the uh, Unreadiness. Uh -huh. First of all, for, for, as a leader, you uh -huh. need to be make sure how uh -huh. can you, uh -huh. uh, how can we, uh -huh. uh, uh, try to uh, uh, um, uh, unite yes, yes. uh, yes. the majority of the yes. Hong Kong people. Yes. So that means we need to yes. build up a united front. Yes, yes. And secondly, uh, what kind of strategies should yes. we st uh, adopt? Yes. In order to build up a strong yes, yes. Uh, stronghold outside the parliament, mm -hmm. so I don't think we can do anything uh, in the in the in the present uh, 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 political system yes. since the uh, par parliament is almost almost nothing uh -huh. compared to the executive body, yes. the 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 SL government. Yes. So, I mean, for me. Uh -huh. We need to build up uh, a united front in the first place, and then we need to adopt uh, a strategy in order to build up the dual power, mm -hmm. the dual power, which is uh, very significant mm -hmm. and reliable to the public mass. Okay, now the last question. Uh, will you run for uh, the Legislative Council election in uh, this, in, uh, this year? Uh, this year? Uh, yeah, are, I, are you running for the election again? Yes, I probably I will I will run for the election. Uh, um, I want to uh, I want to uh, retire from the uh, legislative council, but ah. I think it's not the right time at the moment. Uh, thank you for being with us in the show, uh, Mr. Long. Here, uh, do you? Uh, is there any question that you feel that I did not ask you, or you'd like to tell to our viewers? I mean, in fact, first of all, I, I need to say thank you to mm -hmm. uh, uh, Nepalese people. Mm -hmm. uh, they have been um, uh, very, very constru uh, constructive to the Hong Kong society. Thank you. And uh, I do wish them all the best. Uh, so, yeah. see you next time. Yeah, thank you very much. Darshak bin Hamishang Ununthiu Lung Kok Hung Long here. हामीले वहाँसँग लामो अन्तरङ्ग कुराहरु गर्यौ आशा छ यहाँले सधैं चाहिँ यो शो एन्जॉय गर्नु भयो अर्को त अर्को समय हामी अर्को कुनै विषय लिएर आउने छौ आजलाई यति नै धन्यवाद नमस्ते